Series opener, Marlins and Giants from San Francisco. Fast forward for another eighth inning ejection. Outside, one ball and no strike. Two balls and no strike. This ejection, pair of ejections, has to do with the pitch clock. It's on the 3-2 pitch. Take a look. And he walked him. It's a mistake. Something happened here, and I don't know what it is. Is Gabe Kapler's out? He's barking, and oh, Gabe Kapler was telling J.D. Davis, "Get on the first. There are two managers on the field at the same time on the same play concerning the new pitch clock rules in San Francisco. Reminds me of the Craig Council ejection. That was super ugly, and so is this. What the umpires do correctly is get together. Hunter's like, I didn't see anything either. It's a ball. <laughs> I didn't, no, I didn't see anything. Brock, you're the new guy. What about you? I didn't see anything. I got nothing. See, we got three. I don't see anything. While they huddle, let's review. He engaged in eight seconds. Oh, so at the four second mark, the catcher's alleging the batter wasn't ready on time. Let's get back to eight seconds. And he gets back into hit. And there you have it. It's a violation on the batter for not being in the box and alert to the pitcher by the eight second mark. I've solved the mystery, so let's rewrite history. He stepped out. He engaged in eight seconds. Well, the whole problem is, no, he didn't. Catcher realizes after pointing, I'm not going to get the call, and realizes the clock's counting down. Pitcher, throw, throw. Tries to desperation call time. Why is the umpire calling time to when the pitcher's already in delivery? This is not going to end well. I get, I get two umpires going, I don't see anything. So let's assume that no one saw that the batter wasn't alert on time because no one did. How do you officiate this play? The answer is the catcher tries requesting time when the pitcher has already begun his delivery home. You cannot request time at that point, even if you are on the same team. Marvin putting his hand up was kind of not correct. That was sort of a reflex action. And then he realized, I'm not supposed to do that. So the umpires are going to get together and unring the bell. The bell is when you call time, and it's really tough to unring that. And they're going to pretend that time was never called, like what happened in 2012 at Dodger Stadium that resulted in a triple play and Bud Black getting thrown out of the game because the umpire accidentally called time. It was a reflex action, but then he's like, nah, that's a fair ball. And it resulted in three outs. At least this time there aren't three outs. It's only ball four, but still. You yeah. can't blame that on Marvin Hudson. Yeah, he asked. Well, the Marlins sure will. The Giants are going to sit back and just watch this happen. Somebody's going to argue. So it's unanimous. Go to first. Yeah, he, you walked him. There was no time. And timeout. here comes Schumacher. <laughs> we told you. <laughs> right on cue. <laughs> okay. Well, now, now they're getting heated. Just like the council play earlier this season, this is an unmitigated disaster. But unlike council, this play was not officiated correctly. Calling time like that, akin to an inadvertent whistle in basketball, football, hockey, you name it, the whistle or the time call kills play, That's even right. if the pitcher is mid-motion. In my opinion, this should have been no pitch, redo the 3-2 count. Sure, Kepler probably argues, might even get tossed, but rules-wise, that would be the proper outcome. Going through with the pitch after an umpire calls time, even accidentally, and I'm sure that this was an accidental reflex action, that is not okay. That should have been a dead ball at the time. You acknowledge the fact that you called time. Two guys are gonna get thrown out here. There are two people arguing, and that's why the first base umpire comes in, try to calm down the catcher, but that backfires because it further inflames things and everyone gets thrown out. This whole scarecrow thing they're doing with their arms, that's not the gesture that Hudson did. Hudson did a little tiny one, but it still counts. It still counts as a time call. And if the umpires are telling them, hey, we never called time, well, that's incorrect. And I think that was... And they keep motioning. It, it sounds like they're saying that Hudson was the one that called time. And I think that was Jacob Stallings that got tossed. And he's... And Hunter had it cocked. And yeah, he did. That's a balk. Didn't have an ounce or secret Bach video on my bingo card. Teachable moment time. I'm not T-Mac, but the moral of this story is just own up to what you do. If you call time, admit it. Just say, yeah, that was inadvertent. My bad. We'll fix it going forward. And the fix it going forward for this situation is basically calling it a no pitch and redoing the whole thing. 
they're saying that Hudson was the one that called time. But there is a lot of confusion going on here. Why is the catcher so upset? Read his lips. I called time and you said time. So if the umpires are going back on their saying the time, here, that is not it. the proper outcome for this play that, need I remind you, could have been avoided with a pitch clock violation call on the batter for failing to be alert at eight seconds. He starts his motion. I mean, you got to come through with it. You yeah. can't blame that. To recap, don't call time when the pitcher is in their motion. But if you do call time when the pitcher is in their motion, the play is dead immediately. A little confusion there. Stallings in the home plate umpire, Marvin Hudson. Well, at least Hudson after the game didn't say anything that could make this look any worse than it. Oh, God.